Where I come from, my middle school, my elementary school, and everything, daycare was prominently like the black communities. Black people who are like more middle class, like kind of like, they aren't struggling, but they aren't like, you know, well off. I felt the expectation for being a girl wrestler was that I'm not gonna wanna continue doing it because of the level of competition against the guys. But I just came because I was like, even if it's boys only, I'm, I'm still gonna ask if I could try out. When I was in third grade, um, eight years old, my mom passed away. And that changed my outlook on life. But my perspective of it happening is that take every moment for what it's worth. Our experience with Pius is that it does meet students where each individual student is at and understands the interests of that student, the needs of that student. And I think that was so important for us to understand as Sam moved into a new school, and I think it was important to him too, as well. A couple, Scott and Sue Miners, actually came and talked to me and came and took a tour and actually liked the environment and then they offered me a full ride to come here. The scholarship is called Hard Work Opens Doors Scholarship. I've been competing my whole life. There were a lot of stereotypes like, um, you're weak, you're not going to like it, you're going to get hurt, but you know, it's just worried about not focusing on that. The choice of coming to Pius High School was completely all on me. I think that that was a big step. It was either like, I'm going to sink or I'm going to swim. Freshman year, I was like the definition of a baby. When I first came to Pius, I was very shy. I didn't know anyone here. Like, I didn't really know who I was. So I joined clubs, sports was a big one, friends, just all combination made me be able to recognize and establish who I am. Administration and staff here, they've really pushed me to become this person I never thought I would be. Now I have a lot of friends and great relationships with people. Girls want more and they're gonna do as much as they can to reach what their goals are. This is a new generation of girls that are growing up strong. High school is so much more than academics. You know, it's about finding your identity. It's about figuring out what your values are. It's about learning how to be in relationship with your peers and with grown-ups. It's about learning how to advocate for yourself. Other people can believe in you all you want, but it's up to you to believe in yourself and make the best of it. You have to be the one to take the extra step, take the extra mile to become who you want to be and get what you want to get done. And it's all up to you at the end of the day. Coming here at Pius, taking religious classes, I've found the foundation of faith, my faith, and I can do whatever I am willing to do. Yes, I've lost a lot of times, but I don't let that affect me and I don't let that stop me from coming to practice still. So in doing that and just proving them wrong and having that mindset, they start to understand that like this girl is not gonna stop. He definitely had to believe in himself. He had to have a supportive network around him so that he could lean in and, and believe that he could accomplish what, what he's capable of. On top of being a full-time student, I work at two jobs. I do them both throughout the week. Definitely challenging at some parts, towards finals, towards tests. Kairos here is a very secretive and selective retreat, which I've been on four times now. I was retreating and I've led three times. Kairos is spiritual and just a reflection on our inner selves to find out who we are and how we can express who we are through God and that He'll be there for me no matter what. Um, being the first girl going to state at Pius, I started understanding how important this was when my, my parents were like, oh, you're, you're a pioneer. I loved going and seeing how many girls were just like me. So being a retreat leader, I have to put my best foot forward because I have my own perspective of life goes on, positivity no matter what, bringing the best out of everyone, making sure everyone's okay. But being able to see it come out of someone else is so much more meaningful than just me trying to exemplify it to someone else. I'm in not just wrestling, the a male dominated sport. I also do MMA. I'm gonna look into amateur fights, keep pushing that passion forward and who knows, I'll be on the UFC. I don't know. <laughs> well, I think the faculty and staff um, really do a good job of listening to what a student uh, wants to do with their life, what's important to that student, what the interests are of that student, and then offers to do what they can to help move that path forward for them. The opportunity I have now to be at Pius is not guaranteed at anybody else. This is a private school. Like people, like some people have to pay to come here. Some people get choice to come here. Some people can't come here at all. So you have to be gracious within myself. Take this opportunity and just do the best I can with it. 
The lessons from wrestling as a girl, don't listen to what people say. Don't let those little things be the thing that stops you and that breaks your passion and your strive. And then now I feel like I've become my own like being and substantial being. Sam has certainly grown up a lot in the last four years and I think he's also uh, developed and strengthened a value system that's important to him and it's focused around having um, good relationships with people. I learned that in a lot of different ways, your past does not define your future. My future is either at UW-Madison or Washington University of St. Louis. I'm gonna study marketing or business. So I applied for a program at Marquette. It's called the Urban Scholars Program, which is basically a prominent program that helps students of color that don't have the same opportunities as other people. The first interview, like I got a score so high that, that I got accepted into the program. They're gonna offer me a full ride to Marquette. I am still in love with MMA and I am going to find a gym wherever I go for college and I'm looking to study pre-med. We have seen how the academic environment and the support that a, that a child can receive from the school can really make a big difference in their experience and how they feel about themselves. So I'm grateful that Pius cares about kids' future, whether it be in science, math, engineering, whatever it is. Pius has the program for it, and I think that that's what I have to take into consideration when I chose Pius, like they care about their kids' future. Sports, clubs, whatever you name, we have. And with the involvement that we have at Pius, which is substantial and a lot of people, and creates that foundation of everything being possible. Being a girl in a guy-dominated sport, coming into Pius, anything's possible. It's about who you are as an individual, like Pius says, be more you. It's not about the grades or the, the academic work, it's about who you are as a person. And I think choosing Pius was like the best choice I think I've ever made so far. Mm -hmm.